All right, boys and girls, this is Gary Dean. Welcome to DetailJuice.com, or I should say, welcome to YouTube. Wherever you're viewing this, I hope you enjoy this video and the small amount of knowledge I have in my little bitty brain. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I wash my microfiber towels these days. Now I can tell you, as with everything in life, it has been an evolutionary process getting to where I am today with the way that I do things, uh, especially in business and in detailing in general. I can tell you, for a long time I used all free and clear, uh, which was a fragrance and dye free clothes washing detergent. Uh, it does work well. I uh, have found that it is not as strong as my Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Uh, about a year ago, we worked on the formula a bit so that it worked better than ever before on microfiber towels. And so uh, I have been using my own Infinite Purpose Cleaner for about a year now uh, on my microfibers. And I can tell you that we put a lot of emphasis on the microfiber is not being, we, you want them to be clean, but you don't want them to stiffen up. You want them to retain the softness. And uh, in the evolution of Infinite Purpose Cleaner, uh, we engineered, we finally got it engineered, uh, not only to clean everything on your vehicle inside and out very well, but also to clean microfiber towels very well. So. Um, I used to separate my microfiber towels. Now, I'll tell you, for the really, really nasty ones, um, in reality, if I get something uh, covered in oil or covered in grease, I just throw those away. Um, I won't use a higher quality towel like my waffle weave towels on that kind of stuff. I mean, just because once it gets saturated with oil and, and really nasty with grease, there's no way to get it out, really. I mean, there's, there's no way to get it all out enough where you would want to use it on paint again or anything like that. For the most part, I dedicate my uh, black microfibers to engine bays, uh, you know, tar removal, uh, you know, wheels and that kind of thing anyway. So, but if they're too bad, I just throw them away. Uh, realistically, they're cheap enough where, uh, you know, because I'm buying them in such considerable bulk that I can do that. Now, uh, when it comes to microfiber towels these days, I don't separate my drying towels from my paint polishing towels. To I, I just throw them all in on one wash. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, um, but you know, again, everything I do is for a reason, and there has been a you know so much testing that I've done to come to this final conclusion that it really, really makes sense that I do this. Not only am I saving water, but uh, I'm uh, cleaning my microfiber towels really, really well. So now I have a whole load of microfiber towels and you know, again, I've accumulated towels throughout the years and they just last and last and last because of the care that I take for them. Um, you'll see that I have four ounces of Infinite Purpose Cleaner Concentrate. That's the straight up concentrate, not diluted. Um, I'm gonna use super load on the washer. I wash with warm water and I just go on the uh, casuals uh, selection and I, I usually go just underneath heavy uh, and then I, I'll put some water in there. That's not complicated, right? So what I do is I wait till the water gets up uh, and, and all of the holes are filled and there's a little bit of a pool of water in the bottom. What you want is the cleaner to suspend itself in the water a little bit before you start dropping in microfiber towels. So you notice that we're getting a pool of water in the bottom. Water's warm. Not hot, not cold, but warm. Then I take my four ounces of Infinite Purpose Cleaner Concentrate and I just put it inside the wash. Again, nothing complicated. 
that four ounces does an absolutely amazing job on microfiber towels. And you'll notice I have a full load. I'll just get, make sure it's all suspended in the water there. And then I shake them all out and I lay them in there evenly. That's important. I mean, I've got a bazillion microfiber towels that I've acquired throughout the years and it doesn't make any sense to get rid of them. I and mean, you'll notice that one's pretty dirty. Going right there with the rest of them. I take care of them as well. I mean, when I'm not using my microfiber towels, they stay sealed up in a bag. And that's after I've used them as well. I put them back in a bag. This is my, uh, I, I bought this bag on Amazon. It's a, uh, a laundry bag and it's sealed, but I'm, it, it is breathable. Uh, these are my clean microfiber towels in here. And I, I keep this bag snug shut. So dirt, dust, and debris that's in my garage doesn't get into the bag and onto the towels. So they stay sealed at all times. I have the same bag. I can't find the dirty one. Anyway, I have the same bag uh, for my dirty towels. In the back of my truck, I keep a bag like this. It's a smaller one than this. They sell different sizes of these. Uh, if you go to Amazon.com and you type in laundry bag you can get them in a variety of different colors obviously i like lime green and purple so i bought the lime green ones uh, this is the large one i have a smaller two smaller bags that i take with me for mobile stuff one of which carries the clean towels one of it which uh, carries the uh, dirty towels so after i'm done with a microfiber towel and again these black ones are going in the same wash they are not heavily soiled uh, no grease, no oil, none of that. So don't go putting your oily, greasy towels in the same wash as your um, only kind of general dirty towels because you're going to mess them all up. That's very important. So four ounces of Infinite Purpose Cleaner does a better job of cleaning than whatever the dose of uh, all free and clear uh, I've always ever done does another pretty dirty towel. A lot of that's stained. But again, it's not complicated stuff. Uh, I like to put a little bit more water in the wash than I have towels. You want them to be able to swish around it's just like washing clothes again not rocket science but some of you guys ask me all the time how do i wash my microfiber towels and so i did a video before on my uh, subscription service that i no, no longer am doing i'm uh working on a training program a business training program not a detail training program because i am dedicating all of my videos on my new YouTube channel, which is where you're seeing this, to um, showing you guys how I do everything I do. That's something I'm just uh, passionate about and I want to do that. Anyway, you want more water than microfibers so that everything can swish around really nice. And then again, push them in, make sure everything's mixed up, and you're done. The washing machine starts. The cycle is on. When those microfibers are done with the cycle, they're going to be nice and clean, ready to go again. When I dry clothes, or my, well, I should say, when I dry my microfibers, you don't want to use high heat. Um, I usually put it on wrinkle free, but uh, in between more dry and less dry, uh, there is a cool down cycle that's kind of a medium heat, not a super high heat. You can use heat if you want. Um, but I don't I use like a medium heat um, a lot of times when you use too much heat your microfibers will shrink uh, and you got to think about this too microfiber the actual fibers uh, the the materials that are used to make a microfiber is a derivative of plastic so you literally could melt uh, a microfiber by using too much heat so uh, anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I'm sure you can see that I am sweating to death 
I'm in my home garage and uh, clean my microfibers after uh, you know last week's details and um, that's it if you guys got any questions for me or you have a request for a how-to video I'd be more than happy to put you on the list and get that video shot for you so you can see how it is I do things now I do things different than most people some things I do the same as most people so for a lot of things that you'll see me do videos on for you it should be affirmation that you're doing it properly um, I do things to save time without compromising quality I increase in efficiency uh, and that's important to me um, if I'm working on a job I want to give the customer the best job possible notice I said the customer you want to give the customer the best job uh, that you can give the customer. You don't want to give yourself the best job you can give yourself. That's the problem with detailers these, these days is they can't separate the hobbyist mentality from the businessman mentality and I am definitely a businessman. I'm a businessman first. I'm passionate about my what I do. I'm passionate about detailing but I'm also passionate about business. That's how the world turns. It's all about the almighty almighty dollar. Um, but at the same time, you have to be able to uh, enjoy what you do and you know make money at it. That's what we're in business to do. So uh, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, check out detailjuice.com for more information about my products or you can contact me directly at 813-846-4406. Thank you so much. Have a great day.